Hey, this is Alex and Amanda. Today, we will be exploring new ways to use Bitmojis in assignments and feedback. Bitmoji is an app and Chrome extension that can be used to personalize digital assignments and feedback to your students. Before we get started, subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel. Also, leave us a comment or check out related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started using Bitmojis in assignments and feedback. Are you looking for new ways to spice up digital assignments in your class? Bitmoji to the rescue. Start the new semester off with digital lockers. It's a great way to get to know your students. Or use the lockers as a character study. Have them decorate a locker for Pony Boy or Star Girl. Incorporate social emotional learning into your classroom by doing a weekly check in using Google Forms. Students can respond with their very own Bitmoji, demonstrating how they feel today. Turn your classroom into Creation Station. Let your students design comics using their Bitmojis to outline the steps to solve a problem in math or the parts of a historical event. Maybe a chapter in a book you're reading or the water cycle. Your creative learners will appreciate your fresh off the keyboard assignments. I will show you how to create a GIF using your personal Bitmoji. A final will look similar to this. It's your personal Bitmoji and it's animated. So the first thing that we need to do in creating our GIF is to choose which one of our personal Bitmojis we would like to use. So we'll come up here to our Bitmoji menu. For this instructional video, I've chosen to do a congratulatory GIF. So I've chosen these three particular Bitmojis to use in my GIF. What you'll need to do is save your Bitmoji to your computer. And there we go. Okay. Once all your Bitmojis have been saved to your computer, then we're going to go to Google Photo. It's in the Google Suite. So if you hit the waffle in the top right hand corner, scroll down and look for Google Photos. What we need to do is get our personal Bitmojis into Google Photo. So if you come up to the upper right hand corner and see upload. We're going to click this, hit computer or wherever you've saved it from. Choose your Bitmoji, open, and they will be here in Google Photo. Okay, the next thing we need to do is scroll down to where it says utilities. We have a couple options here and we're gonna choose animation. I'm gonna do congratulations, then my pose, and then the clap, clap. Once you have all of your Bitmojis chosen in the order you'd like for them to appear, in the top right-hand corner, we're going to hit create. Give it a couple of seconds, and there it is. There's my personal Bitmoji GIF. This can be used in numerous different ways. You can use it for feedback, like this one could be used for. You can create ones within directions, within assignments. You can embed them into websites. You can do all kinds of things with this personal Bitmoji GIF. Do you want to incorporate your Bitmoji into personalized feedback on your students' assignments? I hate that when I drag and drop a Bitmoji sticker onto an assignment, it shows up enormous and it moves all of my content out of the way. Here's a tip. When you're creating the assignment, before you share it with students, go to Insert, Header. It adds a header in the top margin of your page. Now insert a table that's one by one. We only need one box here. Now resize that box to be exactly the size that you would like your feedback sticker to be. You can click out of the header. Now you have a pre-made template that you can share this assignment with students. Now my student has submitted the assignment with his answers and I think it is great work. So I go to my Bitmoji Chrome extension, choose my Bitmoji sticker and drag and drop it straight into the box I created to begin with. This ensures that the Bitmoji is only big enough to fit in the box and not enormous like it was before. Click out of the header and feel free to add as many Bitmojis 
as you like and drag them where you want them to be on the page. The students will love seeing your face on their assignments when they receive your feedback. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.